We're being so daring today and we're actually using some natural light. Ooh, exciting. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day and even more amazing week. Don't forget, if you are new, to hit that subscribe button and you can see more of this crazy world I live in. <laughs> Ish. Yeah, um, yeah. so subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Now today, as it, the title might suggest, who knows, I was scrolling, you know, as you do, just scrolling through my phone, notice the sale and Gap. Now, to be honest, I have never actually shopped on Gap before and they were doing a mad good sale and I thought, why not? Let's see if Gap is plus size friendly. So we got a bag, we got a big bag. I don't remember exactly what I ordered because it's been here about a week now. But we're going to open it and we are going to find out. Okay, see how this goes. Oh, I see colours. I don't remember ordering anything colourful. Okay, we're just gonna, gonna get this out of the way first. Oh, hang on. Hang on, do we have a receipt of any kind? We have a receipt. The first item we have... Either a pair of jeans or a pair of shorts. Yes, daring, I know. Because I got on so well with denim. As I said, I've never actually like tried Gap clothes before. So I got these, these are jeans. I got these in 16. I don't know how much they cost. Oh, crikey. I got these in a size 16 and they cost 19.49. So that's a lot for me to spend on jeans. They are very denim-y. They don't, they don't have an over, amount of stretch going on here and they didn't have any long so I had to get a regular leg so we're going to get into these and see what we think I don't know if I can get into them to be honest with you but I'll try okay I am not going to lie it was a struggle to get into these not so much because they're too small but because they are actually very denim feely so they are quite stiff but they do fit. They are like definitely, definitely, I give them their due. They are a size 16. I don't know what you can actually see from that angle. But they are like, they're quite a nice fit now in fairness. Giant over here is like 5'11". So they do kind of dangle around my ankle a little bit. But you know what? For 20 euro, I don't honestly think that they're that bad. What are we thinking? They're definitely, like, they fit. So they win on that. I'm gonna get out a top. It's really warm today. A top to try on with these. Well, that's sparkly and shiny, isn't it? Ah, it's warm. Definitely a top. Oh my gosh, it's sparkly. What was I doing? So this is the top. It just says the gap because, you know, I've never shopped in Gap before. I'm not that rich. So I want everybody to now know that I shop in the Gap and the Gap alone. I'm totally out of breath just from getting those jeans on. This, maybe if we look at what size it is, that way. Large and tall. Logo crop, yeah. This was 6.74. Okay. So this t-shirt was 6.74. Now that's not bad. And I don't know if you can see, but the lettering is sparkly. So yeah, I like that. It says it's cropped, but I'm not entirely sure. We'll try it on and find out. Oh my gosh. For hauls. This is going swimmingly, swimmingly well so far. So this is the first like full outfit that I've ever tried on from Gap clothing. It all fits. Um, it is a little bit cropped. I'm not overly a fan of the croppiness because of the mom belly. But do you know, I think I would wear this like outside with other humans. That's how nice I think it is. I mean, I'm all in navy, so you really cannot see that much. But what are we thinking? This is in a large and there is a good bit of give in it. I mean, I do have a little bit of a muffin top, but I just ate, you know? What are we expecting? I have to say as well, as somebody who, you know, spent their life shopping from pennies and China and all kinds of stuff like that, this t-shirt is stunningly soft. Like it's so soft. And if nothing else, I will sleep in this because it is being kept. Oh, oh good. Oh, good, 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 good. Not only did she buy jeans, she bought shorts as well. Great job, great job. Okay, so these, and I think because, yeah, because I was kind of new to Gap and the world of Gap, I didn't actually know what their sizings were gonna be like. So I got the shorts in an 18, but they do have the buttony effect. I love the buttony effect. Not much stretch again, but their denim is very stiff as well. And I like it. 
I have to be honest with you, I like it. Even though they are short, the jeans, I'm keeping them like most F. The shorts, these I got in a size 18 and these are 10.50. So if they fit, we're winning. If they don't fit, I'm, do you know what? I'd actually be sad if they don't fit simply because I like the button up, we know that. And I, you know, I, I, want, I want them to fit. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna try on these shorts and see what we think. Ah, we were going so well for a second. Um, these shorts have got a serious, serious issue with my hip bones. They don't want them. They, they, they think they should die. I have buttoned them up a bit, but then I got really tired. They're, they're nice shorts. Like they are a nice pair of shorts. But we're back to the old issue here, where I've just taken off a pair of size 16 jeans that fit. They were a very, very nice fit. They were a bit stiff, but they had some stretch in them. These shorts, no, I couldn't do up the top button. We've got like overhang everywhere. And it's such a shame because they're not the worst pair of shorts in the world, but like everything, all of my internal organs are like, eh, eh. These are not, they do not make you feel good in any way, shape or form. They hate me. They hate my body. They hate my liver. They hate my, do I have a pancreas? If they do, if they, if I do have a pancreas, they hate that too. Apart from that, they're a cute pair of shorts if they didn't hate my internal organs so much. So size 18, high rise shorts, size 16 jeans, Gap is winning. It's such a shame. I'm so mad. So mad. Because I was going so well, but I'm dying to get these bloody things off me. Okay, what do we have next? We have something grey. I mean, it's roasting. It has been roasting for the past few weeks. Well, not roasting, but in Ireland. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so, so soft. As I was saying, in Ireland terms, it's been roasting this past week and I finally got a nice pair of shorts and they hate my internal organs and I'm mad. But the next item is so soft that I'm no longer mad, you know? It's a polo neck jumper because it's roasting in Ireland, so that's what I have to buy. This is a cowl neck I got in light grey. Um, I got an extra large in the tall section. So I cannot wait to put it on. I know I'm gonna sweat, but I can't wait to get this on and see what it looks like on. Because I just caught sight of myself getting changed in these shorts. They have to come off. Like they have to come off. Will they come off? I don't know, but like, it, the view is not very flattering. I'm not gonna lie. We're just gonna try on this jumper without anything else on because they hate me. Like they legit, they, they hate me. And you know what? I don't like them very much either. Ha. Huh. You burn in hell. Okay, so I have it on back. I have it on inside out. No, I don't. I don't have it on inside out. So here is the jumper here. The sleeves are lovely and long. The length is lovely and long. It's so gosh darn soft that I wish you could all come in here with me because like I know it's going into summer now and I'm slow and my purchases don't make sense, but this is so soft and nice. And I'm really, really happy with it. This cost, how much? This cost $12.74. Very specific on the price there, aren't we? But yeah, I am extraordinarily happy with this and it makes up for the shorts that really, really don't like me. Another thing about these is the bottom bits here, they're kind of weighted. So they kind of, they bypass the lumps. So that's great news, great news all right. Next up, I'm knackered. Like I am absolutely knackered. We have something else in gray. You know, because I just want to fade into the background and watch everybody because I'm a creep. No, I'm not, I'm not really, not that much of a creep. Okay, so next we have a lot of material. This is not soft. This is soft, this is not soft. I mean, they're both the same color. They should both be made the same material. This is a jumpsuit. Okay. Oh, it's a halter neck jumpsuit. Of course it is. Of course it is. Okay, hold on a minute. I've gotten the prices wrong. This jumper costs, I'm so confused. <laughs> I are confusion. Okay, I got legit really confused there for a minute. This, this I now know is a soft spun cowl neck in true black. This is not gray, this is true black. And I did get this in an extra large tall, 
but it cost 6.74 okay that's where i made my mistake this cost 6.74 to be honest with you mega bargain really happy with it i mean how could you not be happy with this back to the gym suit so the jumpsuit, halter jumpsuit in space grey, I got this in extra large tall and this was what's twelve seventy four. You see the greys, they were just confusing me because apparently this isn't grey in Gap World. This is black and this is grey, I mean. They're legit the same colour, let's be real. Anyway, I'm going to try on the jumpsuit and we're going to see what we think. Well this was considerably, considerably easier to get on than anything else. Here we have, where are we on? What's happening? What am I wearing? Halter jumpsuit, space grey, extra large, tall. This was twelve seventy four. And when they say extra large and when they say tall, they're not they're not lying. They're not messing about. This is so long that I would legit need heels. Heels! I'm so impressed with their tall section. There's no pockets. Oh we we all love a good pocket. I've just took my bra straps underneath. Even if I fold it up like put up as high, as high as it can go here. It's still long enough for me. I am so, so impressed with this. This is definitely a keeper, but I would need heels. So if you're, if you're like 5'10 or under, don't shop from the tall section and gap. But for me, and it's not overly flattering, let's not lie. It's, it's not overly flattering, but it's a jumpsuit. They say it's an extra large. It's definitely an extra large. I'm not mad at all. I really? Really like it. What are we thinking? What do you think? Back to this. Oh good, it's more denim. <laughs> more denim, yay. By process of elimination, this is, I got this in a size 16 again. Now bearing in mind, the size 16 jeans fit, the size 18 shorts did not fit. Gap, I've got something to say to you. This is a skirt. Okay, this is a high rise black wash skirt in a size 16 I got from the tall section. Now there is zero, zero, like no stretch whatsoever to this. I'm not too sure about this. I'm not going to lie. This, this could be dodgy, but we'll give it a go. And I mean, I mean, we'll try. As you can see, I'm back in the jumper simply to protect my modesty and your eyes because this, this, this is where the skirt goes to. Yeah, yeah, the skirt just kind of sits. There, there is no way this booty is going into the skirt. Hell no, nah. no way in God's green earth it's going anywhere near. It just kind of sits nicely on my thigh. So if ever there is like a fashion trend where, you know the way boys wear their jeans like down here and their boxer shorts up there, Remember there is that trend for girls in skirts? I'm all over it. Hell, I started it. Well, probably not. Other people have probably suffered the same fate. Quite disappointed. Now, I know I'm pointing out all the negatives here, but can I just say that the quality of everything I've tried on has been epic. I, the, I could not fault the quality, it's flawless. Sizing, however, is a bit of an issue, isn't it? I mean, how, how devastating is that for anybody to try on a skirt and have it go mid-thigh? And that was with all the buttons open, like, you know, there's something. So we're going to move on to something more flattering and make myself feel better. And we've got pink. Pink to make the boys wink. This should be easy enough to find. Okay, this is a rib sauce bun. Sl. This was in rose blush. Again, it was extra large in the tall section. And this, this was definitely 11.24 because it's the only rose blush thing I bought. Um, oh, it's, it's, it's upside down. It's upside down. Oh, this is a dress. Okay, so this is a cute little skater dress. Chances are this is gonna be all right. I don't, I don't think it'll just go up to my thigh or anything. So we're gonna feel better about ourselves and try this on. Again, again, the quality of this dress. There's, it literally, it cannot be faulted for their quality of clothing, the feel of their clothing. The probably, if these, all these clothes probably last hella long time. Now this isn't my normal style of dress, but I thought I'd try like a wealth of different items and we'd make some sort of a good judgment, but it's like a little skater dress. So it goes just, falls just below my knee. I mean, it's cute. I don't go many places where wearing this would be 
an option, I guess. But it fits, you know? So there's that. It's not overly see-through, but it is a little bit see-through, I think. I think if you're modest enough that you want to wear a dress like this, you're not going to want people to know what color your panties are. I, I, I will grow up one day and wear grown-up clothes. I really will. But today's not that day. Um, but this is, it's cute. It's definitely cute. We're nearly done. I promise you it's nearly over. Okay, finally. The final item. Yay, you're nearly rid of me. Finally, I think this is a little play suit. This is a lighter colour grey. I was all about the grey in this haul, wasn't I? Okay. Yeah, this is definitely a play suit. Where the front is, I don't know, but we'll figure that out in a minute. Let's Okay, this is a soft spun halter in light grey. I got this an extra large from the tall section again, and this costs $8.99. So again, very good value. Quality wise. Can't have your fault. I'm yet to understand how I get in or out of this. I mean, it's definitely an extra large as well. Damn, when they're getting sizes right, they're getting them so right. And then denim. Denim is not my friend. We're gonna try this on because I'm not bitter, I swear, and see what we think. Okay, so we're definitely, definitely ending this haul on a high. This is super, super cute. We've no pockets again. Pity about that. Gap, get on that as well. This is so cute. It's just, I mean, I'm very, very, uh, so, I'm very, very silly. So getting in and out of it, I was kind of, I was so confused for such a long time. But now that I'm in it, it's cute. And what else I have noticed when putting this on is that, I mean, I don't have much in the booty department, but there is an extra bit of length on the back than there is at the front. So if you're shopping in the extra large section because you need an extra large and because you've got a big booty, a, you go girl, I envy you, and B, you'd be golden in this. So yeah, there we have it. This, I mean, I don't know, I still don't know if I have it on completely right, but it looked like the most logical move to me was to put it on like this, you know? Most logical move. But yeah, that, that is it. So that is that, that is my little Gap haul done. What can I say about Gap? I say this haul was eye-opening, definitely. I thought going to a more kind of high-end retailer like Gap, that the sizing wouldn't be so much of an issue. But if I look back and reflect now on like my Pep & Co haul, which was so long ago and so cheap in comparison, they're getting the sizes wrong just as much as Gap are. The clothes that I, that do fit, I love them all. The quality of the clothes, Excuse me. See, I had dinner before I filmed this. It was a bad idea. The quality of the clothes is absolutely faultless. Every single item has been really, really high quality. So you are getting your money's worth in that way. But when it comes to sizing, they're getting it just as wrong as everywhere else. I don't, I don't understand. I mean, granted, there's no stretch to the skirt and the shorts. But like the shorts are an actual whole size bigger than the jeans are and the jeans fit and the shorts don't. And it just like, speaking on behalf of women, especially women who have body issues, which is all of us, all of us. If you buy a size you think is a size too big for you and it doesn't fit, it, it hurts your feelings. And Gap, you have hurt my feelings. I love, love your clothing. I really, really do. I will actually, happily shop on the Gap website again, especially when they have a sale because they got some good bargains. But until there comes a time when Gap size, sort out their sizings, I will not be able to wear, buy any more denim. No, I just won't do it. I'm not bitter, I swear. Yeah, denim for me has been a no apart from the jeans, oddly enough. Normally jeans don't fit and shorts fit fine, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. I hope you found this video informative. I hope some of the information is, is useful to somebody other than me. Um, thank you all so much for watching this. As I said, if you like this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. You'd be helping me out a lot. If you're not already subscribed, might I suggest that you do so like immediately because you know, who'd want to miss out on all this fun? <laughs> yeah, subscribe, definitely subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I shall see you all next Wednesday with a brand new video. Have a great day and have a great week and I will see you next time. Bye.